Well, I can tell you, uh, Canambal is uh, certainly a town that is always open for business. There's, there's a lot of opportunities in farming, obviously. Look, we've got uh, the agri-grain uh, business that started up here. That opened a lot of opportunities for all the farmers in the district. They were always stuck with one or two traders. The other thing that I'm working on now is the Canambal Abattoir, which is we hope that will be up and running in the near future. I rate it pretty highly. Uh, it's really highly productive soils around in the, in the Canamble district. Um, a lot of the larger farmers have been here for many years, have done quite well out of it. In essence, we're a storage and export facility. So uh, during harvest, the grower has the opportunity to either warehouse grain with us, uh, we can purchase it off them directly. Um, or we'll do contracts with them for uh, a forward sale. Uh, it's potentially a, a, almost a $20 a tonne freight advantage having someone like us here. From a tonnage point of view, historically the Canamble and Walgett area has been upwards of three or 400,000 tonnes of wheat. Um, and on top of that, there's, there's obviously chickpeas and barley and canola as well, depending on what rotations people are running. So it's um, it's a huge opportunity and a huge capture area for us. The train that's coming today, uh, it's heading to Port Botany. From there it'll go to multiple destinations all around the world, uh, a lot into Southeast Asia, uh, China and some chickpeas into India. I commenced in stock agency in Narrabri in 1961 and uh, I've still been involved in it, uh, mainly real estate at the present time or property sales. The rural community I think will come more back to more diversified. Uh, a lot of people used to fatten uh, particular types of cattle for the local market, uh, which has not happened now for a number of years. Uh, they've been mainly concentrating on heavy export cattle to market and that is the reason why we'll find now that I think younger cattle will once again become part of the marketing system of the local area. Although since I've been here and I purchased a property in 1978, uh, we've had, uh, had two what are called dry seasons where the crops were uh, practically failed. We had one year when it was too wet to sow. So over that period of time, which is now 36 years, there's only been three instances where we haven't been able to get a crop return. So I think Canamble as a cropping centre has got a lot to go forward for. As well as a fattening centre for livestock, it will get them come back to its own once again.